EA Sports coverage of the NFL brings us to the heart of Texas and the very wonderful AT&T Stadium in Arlington. Today, boy, what a matchup. Two NFL franchises with so much history, so much tradition, getting set to do battle here as it'll be the San Francisco 49ers taking on the Dallas Cowboys. It's the team of the 80s versus the team of the 90s. The Niners, the Cowboys, they're underway. And he'll go down as this drive. Oh, because they were trying to leak the tight end out into the flat. I think they were hoping he could catch and turn up field and pick up the first down. And this one is right through. And the Cowboys are going to jump out to a 3 nothing lead. No touchdown there, but if that first drive is any indication, looks like they're going to have a pretty good day passing the football. I would say confidence would have to be pretty high after that first drive, able to throw it almost at will. You're exactly right. They didn't get the touchdown, but three points serves as a nice notice about how this offense is going to move. Set now to kick this one away, and off it goes. Taken at the goal line. And tackled at the 20. And they run the option here on first and 10. 3 nothing after one on EA Sports. They go play action here, Purdy. That ball caught, Brandon Ayuk. Touchdown, 49ers. Brandon Ayuk, a 24-yard touchdown. And the 49ers have now taken the lead. But Charles, here in their opening series, they said they had certain plays scripted for certain players. That looked like a well-designed play to get one of their top targets involved. Yeah, let's face it, Brandon. A player of his talent is a problem for any opponent to defend, and we saw it right there. They tried to deny an open lane to him. He still outplayed the coverage and scored the early touchdown. Good luck trying to figure out how to defend him as this game moves on. So here's Moody back out there now to send this one away. Devontae Turpin now from his end zone. And they'll get him down right around the 25, actually the 26 officially, so a net gain of one there. The Dallas offense here set to begin the drive. And after the field goal last time, we'll see what they can get here. At least they got points out of the last drive, Charles. I never met an offensive coach that didn't want to drive to end with a kick. <laughs> Most of them want it end with a PAT, right? In this case, a field goal, they'll take it way better than the alternative, which is a punt. Yeah, but you met fan bases that wanted that, that <laughs> weren't happy with that field goal. I haven't met a fan base yet that wants to drive dead with a kick <laughs> other than the extra point. That's it. They go back to Pollard on second down. Down the sideline he goes. He may go. Touchdown, Cowboys. Tony Pollard, 70 yards. And the Cowboys have regained the lead. They erased that deficit pretty quickly, did they not? A two-play drive. What do we call that? Short-lived? Very. <laughs> Very short-lived. Two plays later, they're in the end zone and back down the front. We always talk about drive. Just two plays count as a drive? Not really, but that second play was so good. I don't care what we call it. It was enjoyable to watch. The kickoff unit is out on the field, and they will send this one away. Here's McLeod from his end zone. And they'll get him down right around the 20 to get that lead back before the break. Purdy. Oh, and the ball comes out on the hit, but they'll say it's incomplete. They're putting together a drive here in the final minutes of the half, but the coverage has been tight all game long, and they certainly want to keep them off the scoreboard here. 
They'll go again here from the 10 yard line on second and goal. Back to throw, Purdy. This is caught. Touchdown! Christian McCaffrey from 10 yards out. And the 49ers have taken the lead. A CD, you know he's got great options at wide receiver tight end, but there he looks to the backfield and it results in a touchdown. I love how you laid that out. So many options. You maybe forget about some of the ones that you should be covering. And they made them pay with that one, didn't they? You forget about the guys in the backfield, they're eligible too. So following the touchdown, here's Moody back out to send it away. And here comes a return from just beyond the goal line. And they'll get him down right at the 25-yard line, so the same result had he opted for the touchback. About set for this next drive by the Cowboys offense. A lot of time for this unit to game plan on the sideline after that drive. If they watch the other side just score. But remember, last time they were out, they scored as well. We'll see if they can seize that momentum right back. And they have had a lot of time to cool off from reaching the end zone the last time. So have they been able to keep themselves mentally sharp and into this game, even though they haven't been on the field? And you and I both know, one big play that gets a net knock up to that level. And getting this chest shy of midfield will spot it at the 49. Back to back good plays have him on the move on first down. Play action now. Prescott. Crossing run right complete. Catch made by Cooks. And he's going to get this one down to the edge of the red zone. Now the Cowboys going to burn the first of their timeouts. As the clock will stop with 55 seconds to go until halftime. From the red zone now, Prescott. And his throw is incomplete. I'm really liking what I'm seeing from this defense because their coverage has been playing at a shutdown level so far. Even backed up late, they're forcing incompletions and fighting to keep them out of the end zone as the first half winds down. Prescott yet again. Hit as he throws there, incomplete. That play call wasn't there for them against that coverage. So they're going to spin the dial now in their playbook and come up with one more shot at the marker to try and keep this series going. On third down, it's Prescott. Nowhere to turn this time, and he goes down. Sack back of the 29. The 49ers now going to use the first of their timeouts as they'll stop it with just over 40 seconds to go in the first half. And the kick is good. He needed a little help there from the crossbar, and the carom goes his way. And the lead is down to one now at 14-13. So not the strongest of kicks we've seen him make, but he gets a favorable bounce, and it's three points all the same. Yeah, that was one of those where he needed the six iron, but he pulled out the nine <laughs> iron. That one was run out of gas quickly, but he does manage to pop it over the bar. The Niners take over first and ten at their own 21 yard line. The 49er offense set to get this drive underway. And we'll see how this is played. Offensively, they've got the lead. Not a whole lot of time left. What do you think, Charles? And trying to get it to Samuel, but it's intercepted. And he's able to get it back to right around the 27. Certainly feels like the classic second guess, but let's be honest about it. They had a chance going to halftime with the lead. Why did they take a chance with a throw there? I don't understand that. Well, that's what I'm wondering, and now this defense has to try to protect that lead going into the locker room. Following the interception, here's Prescott. Here's a screen now for Pollard. A nice little screen. They get six on first down. The Cowboys going to use their second timeout now as the clock will stop with 20 seconds to go in the first half. Second down, Prescott. Pollard here once again, back-to-back -back catches. The Cowboys signal for their third and final timeout. And with halftime on the horizon, they'll be out of timeouts from here forward. 
Now Prescott. And this ball is caught by Lamb. Touchdown, Dallas. A great effort there as the first half is winding down. And the Cowboys have taken the lead here in the final stages of this first half. The extra point splits the uprights. And that'll make this a six-point game. So not much time to speak of remaining in this first half as the kick's away. And no return on this one as the fair catch is signaled for and taken. The San Francisco offense ready to start their next drive. And with time quickly fading here in the second quarter, not sure how aggressively offensively they want to play this. I think we'll find out just how much they trust their guys in this situation if they decide to take the guys man complete and this offense gonna elect to burn a timeout with five seconds remaining in quarter number two final play of the half Purdy. with the work defensively. They have not allowed a lot of receivers to run free. And there's another example, another incompletion. And they line up now for what will likely be the last play of the first half. The final shot before break. Purdy. Incomplete. So two quarters down, two remain. Charles and I return after the break. Welcome back. Halftime over. We are ready for quarter number three. Alongside Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon. The 49ers going to have the football and trailing on the scoreboard as we get back underway on EA Sports. Right, right, right. Two. This Cowboy defense trying to hold him out of the end zone. They've run it to third and goal. Touchdown, San Francisco. Cameron Watu, a two-yard touchdown grab. And the Niners have tied the ball game with a chance to take the lead. No surprise there, third and goal down here. That's where they're going to look for their tight end. Yeah, you want that big guy running his routes because it doesn't matter who they cover him with. If it's another big guy, he might use his bulk against him. If it's a shorter defender, he might go over the top. Either way, you tend to find a little bit of a mismatch in that area. So after the main field goal by Moody, he's back out to kick this one away. And they'll start this drive just across the 30. Pretty nice work on the return. The Dallas offense here set to begin the drive. And they'll be working from behind now following the touchdown a moment ago on the opening drive of the half. I think the guys right now as they go out on offense, they're zeroing in on one big key. They don't have to do anything differently just because they're down on the scoreboard now. The intent still the same in what they plan to do on offense. A third quarter now to one point game as they line up second and ten. Prescott. And down he goes. The 49ers get there. They'll need a big play here. Will Dak and the Cowboys after the sack. It's third and long. Now hold everything here. We're going to get a timeout by the offense. It's just their first, so two remaining as they burn one here in this third quarter. Third and 19. Here 
here's Prescott. And this pass broken up. And the contact well timed there. And now fourth down. This is certainly a team that has proven it likes to target its backs through the air. And defensively, they were aware of that and certainly were prepared on that throw. Now Prescott on fourth down. Going to take a shot for Gallup. And it's incomplete. They cannot convert. And they turn it over. A surprising move to go for it predictably, at least somewhat predictably. It doesn't pay off. And the Niners take over in terrific field position. And a hard-earned yard there as he ran through one would-be tackler. It's second down. Another run with McCaffrey on second down. And he's got this pretty close to a first down at the Cowboys' 13-yard line. 62 yards rushing for him now to this point. A yard all they need, but it's third down. Play action, and now here's Purdy to throw it. He's going to get that to his running back out of the backfield. And the Niners are going to have a first and goal coming up as they find a way to convert there on third and one. They'll try to run with McCaffrey. And he gets halfway there from the six to the three on a gain of three. So the ball position now at the three. Here's second and goal. Again, McCaffrey. And he is met in his tracks behind the line of scrimmage. That backs him up one yard and brings up third down. Play action. Now Purdy. They'll roll him out right. Oh, he had him. He was open, but he couldn't get it to him. It's incomplete. So they opted to pass for it on third and goal. Let's see what they do on fourth and goal. Well, I think they threw it with the idea that if they didn't get it, they would go for it on fourth and goal. So they got another play in their pocket. They're going to have to call it right now. No field goal here. And they will not have time to get another play in here as time has run out on this third quarter. We'll return with more after this. This is the NFL, and it's on EA Sports. So here's Moody back out there now to send this one away. And he won't quite make it to give this drive some life. Instead, they're on the spot and they'll separate the receiver from. Oh, he tried to fit it in on the slam and it's intercepted. Picked up by Charvarius Ward. And the return here. This is third and two. Maybe the biggest play in this football game. In motion left here, one of their tight ends. On third down, it's Purdy. He'll get this into the hands of Ayuk. Touchdown 49ers! Brandon Ayuk. Two catches, two touchdowns here so far. And the 49ers will add to their fourth quarter lead. Now Moody for the PAT. And he's been a busy man. Five for five now as he knocks another one through to extend the lead. And up two scores late. No clue why you do this here, but they're going to go for the onside kick. Oh, I think the Niners got it back. Yes, San Fran. Five-yard line. And now it looks like they're going to be in the hurry up. They'll try and pick it up with McCaffrey. And he'll take this into the end zone for a San Francisco touchdown. Christian McCaffrey, his second touchdown of the afternoon. And the Niners have pretty well put it away here in the fourth quarter. Moody good with the extra point. And the lead is up to 18 now. Well, I guess the touchdown wasn't enough. 
They want the onside kick as well. And the Cowboys are able to recover. The fourth quarter, they felt like they needed the football back. Unfortunately, they couldn't get it. And I know we've brought analytics into the game, and someone has said here that the data says that when a team's expecting an onside kick, 80% of the time, the team expecting it, they do actually recover the ball, which is what we saw here. I oh, he rifles one, and that's going to be intercepted. Picked up by Javarius Ward, and the 49ers are going to...